Today's video is going to cover everything about Minishu power set. guys this is your boy name found with another video um this is uh, my first uh, in-depth guide about uh, um, a power set um, so i'm pretty sure that you already know that uh, people like my dear friend obsidian chill um, is doing a really awesome job uh, about covering everything so i always su suggest you guys uh, to check his uh, channel and uh, i decided to make this video because a lot of people on the stream have asked uh, um, about uh, my full coverage of uh, a power set about munition because uh, people watching the live stream that were liking a lot uh, how many damage this rotation can make so i apologize if i will make some mistake about the language but you already know that uh, english is not my main language guys so i apologize but feel free to blame me in the content in the comment uh, section below and uh, every single part of this guide will be covered by um the timestamp in the comment section below guys so basically we are going to um to go in depth about everything on munition starting from uh, um, the gear, uh, which kind of artifact we need, and uh, basically everything, guys. So, from the gear to the melee rotation, on the ranged rotation, and the single target one, and then we are going to cover um, the, the support side of this power. So, that means uh, the, um, the regular troll that I will make a kind of uh, um, a kind of change to uh, adapt uh, um, around the, the current meta that will be m much more oriented as buff troll instead of the regular uh, troll and the the second spec about the troll will be the battle troll it is really really good since uh, um, the claw uh, was released it's the um, artifact uh, that is going to buff the entire group but by seven percent of a of every stats into the game and giving them five percent the critical magnitude and chance of everything but let's go step by step okay this side of the guide will cover everything about the white mod every trinket that you have to use affinity bonuses and also the artifact with the augments and the generator mod so starting from uh, the first one as white mod of course blast adapter it's always worth as D dps for the weapon tap it's always a free damage as uh, um, add um, supercharge neo venom boost free guys because for this guide i'm going to use the neo venom boost for the simple reason that uh, the big gun is a really good supercharge but if you're not getting a critical damage this one is absolutely trash guys even if i am using the transformation card i tested a couple of time the big gun and i didn't get a single critical damage so to be a 100 percent supercharge if it's not crit uh, critting it's absolutely trash so i prefer to have a more consistent damage uh, during the raid that i am doing just basically um, buffing myself with um, the neo venom boost on the neck, oh, of course, escalating might 5 as might or rent as a precision as um pre um, as a precision, but don't worry guys, we are we are covering everything later. On the back, of course, I selected the mini nook that give you a 10% cooldown reduction on uh, an hard eater um skill that is doing an AoE damage. That's really really good. On the chest, of course, the penetrating strike, uh, because uh, if I'm not wrong, guys, the core strength still bugged the science a lot of time, so always a penetrating strike for both spec. On the le uh, legs, uh, of course, a restorative chain gun. This is a kind of skill that you are going to use on every rotation that I made. On the ends, of course, max damage. It doesn't matter if you're playing might or precision. And on the ends, um, on the uh, feet, sorry, uh, tumbling master, of course. You can't imagine how useful is this uh, um, 
these white mod guys uh, sometimes allow you to uh, just escape from some bad situation and it's generally a nice nice mobility skill absolutely talking about uh, um, the trinket guys I'm I'm going to use the dark con construct but it's uh, a really good damage also don't forget to watch obsidian chill video about uh, the damage comparing all all the pets into the game he did an awesome job so don't forget to check his videos of course the um, the supply drop that it's just a must for every basically every roll the the common trinket to buff yourself so this is the 263 um, but of course uh, it's uh, there is a one better from the vendor it's 265 and of course the orbital but you can always switch when you use uh, one trinket you can always switch and put another one so to get rid of the, the cooldown this is totally up to you talking about the affinity bonuses guys of course uh, type a and type b might uh, both of them or prec both of them depend if you are playing precision or might type c it's just the buff master and power d it's just a power strategist this is something that will be useful when you are playing the regular buff troll or the battle troll that that will be really really good Talking about the artifact, guys, this is the combination that I find really, really good for this power set. There are a couple of controversial uh, discussion about uh, to use instead the Grimorium, um, the Grimorium Verum instead of uh, the strategist card. But since I have tested, guys, uh, um, I found this one doing more more damage because this one is going to synergize with the transformation card. The transformation card is giving you twenty percent critical strike chance and critical uh, magnitude as well and uh, this is uh, just a must for every dps uh, and every power set it doesn't matter if you're playing might or precision so i found really really useful the strategist card because it's going to apply um, damage over time when uh, you are getting a critical damage there is a chance to proc this artifact and the damage over time is absolutely decent it's between um 8 9k to a maximum of 13k but it's not bad at all if you consider that it's basically a passive damage of course guys for munition solar amplifier at 200 will make the difference because like you know the most powerful skill for munition are vulnerable to either to be interrupted and if you have the solar amplifier at rank 200 is going to install empowering channeling tactical mod as a passive so that means every single time you are going to use a skill that is vulnerable to interrupt your tune is starting flashing with the immunity and no one can interrupt your combo you can always uh, you can always uh, use uh, the grimorium verum instead of the strategist card to get rid of the skill to apply the power interaction this is totally up to you guys i don't have unfortunately but i have uh, tested everything on the test server already and i found this one just better in terms of damage but of course this means that we are forced to use a power interaction applier on our loadout but we are going to cover everything later talking about the augments guys of course totally uh, totally depend on which kind of uh, spec you are playing so if you are playing might of course both of them must be might um, according for which kind of content you are playing and the adaptive augments uh, the adaptive augments and the origin augments as well so everything must be might so in my case this is uh, uh, the might version so i'm going to use every everything as might but if you use uh, precision of course precision on uh, uh, adaptive augments and precision on um, origin augments this is uh, pretty obvious talking about the generator mode guys the, op the optimal setup about uh, um, your generator mode of course as a blue one you want to always have a power because your second role is a controller so that means you have a better power pool in terms of yellow one as a support of course every single time vitalization for the same reason and of course as offense 
is totally depend which kind of build you are playing, if might or prec. So in, in my case, uh, I am focusing mainly on might, as you can see. So all of them must be might. If you are playing precision, all of them precision, and the same happen for the affinity bonuses. So if you are playing might, type A and type B absolutely might, or otherwise precision if you are playing precision. Talking about the skill point spec, guys, of course, uh, let's cover this section as well. Um, as a weapon, I'm using, like I said, the dual wield because it's a shared weapon with uh, the battle troll spec. So I'm using the DPS one for both, uh, for both of them. And just one point to unlock uh, uh, the possibility to, we um, to wearing the uh, dual wield as well and then of course on uh, super speed i'm going to unlock uh, always the speed force uh, uh, grabbing uh, just a random one to be able to reach both of them the re re restrain resistance and the knockback resistance those are totally uh, passive skills innate it's a uh, percent of in case and root and the second one it's uh, um a resistance against the impulse this is some that's something that brings your crowd control harder by the enemies and the last one is the wearing dervish but this one it's just for the melee rotation Talking about the uh, iconic power, of course, like I said, um, uh, I'm not using the big gun because it's a crit dependent, so I prefer to have a constant buff on myself, guys. So always Neo Venom boost and the robot sidekick, science they have buffed the robot sidekick. Uh, it's always good to have a pet out that doing a passive damage. And we have a couple of... Uh, of skills uh, uh, to clip with just in case your robot sidekick is going to die but don't worry we are going to cover everything later as a stats point of course guys you want to always go as a focus on the superpower of course 20 point on critical attack chance 40 po uh, point on critical attack damage usually i am putting um, 5 10 point uh, on precision uh, just just for the weapon tap uh, but feel free to 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 skip this one guys and so i always put 10 skill points on prec just to have a better damage as uh, a white damage when i am clipping with uh, the ranged attack of my weapon maximize of course the might and power and the rest of the hp of course on uh, um, the rest of the skill point of course on the hp Okay, talking about the might uh, melee version of this uh, um, power set, guys, um, of course, um, the loadout that I'm going to choose is always uh, a supercharge generator and it's a power interaction applier. So pay attention, guys, um, just in case if you don't know what is the power interaction, every power set into the game have a different power interaction. And that means it's a, a kind of effect that when you're going to apply to your enemies, all the other skills coming from your power set are going to do more damage. And uh, this one, it's, um, it's a, a really good one because it's a power interaction apply so that means it is going to apply the burn effect to the enemies and this is a supercharge generator as well even if we are not playing with the scrap of the soul clock having an additional um, supercharge generator it's really good then we have the chain gun um, that it's absolutely a mandatory skill for this power set doesn't matter which kind of um, build you are uh, playing so as you can see guys uh, it's uh, vulnerable uh, to interrupt uh, but don't forget uh, that uh, this skill it's not vulnerable anymore because with the solar amplifier at rank 200 your tune is starting to flash and no one can interrupt your skill this is an aoe and this skill it's uh, um it's really tricky guys because uh, to make uh, a lot of damage with this skill your position have to be really really good so that means straight in line with your enemies so you can eat all of them the third one is the wearing dervish that it's a skill coming from the super speed 
include them. Um, this is totally worth to include them. It's still vulnerable to block, but this one is doing more damage. Just in case you are not super speed, if you are using flight, skimming, acrobatics, you can change this one and you can put, for example, the rail guns. That's really good. This is just a ranged one. Or maybe it's better to include a mini nuke instead. That's totally up to you and totally up to which kind of movement you are using. The fourth one, it's an explosion, like uh, not exactly like the mini nuke, but this skill, it's an hard eater as well, especially when you apply a power interaction. When this skill is going to crit, it's going for me personally, I am around um, six, uh, 600k. 60k sorry guys is going to hit around 45 50k that it's not bad at all then we have the robot sidekick so like we said an additional pet it's always good it is totally a passive damage especially because they have just revamped all the pets in uh, in the game and the last one of course it's the neo venom boost like we said guys this skill is going to buff entire damage coming by us and you can uh, you you can choose the neo venom boost or if you want you can try the big gun but i want to suggest you guys to use the neo venom boost at last for the melee rotation So, of course, guys, you can't uh, um, get the idea because, uh, like you know, the sparring targets are moving. So I don't have the privilege to <laughs> decorate the um, uh, the league hall. But so the ideal is just to put uh, um, the separator so they are not going uh, to move. But you are getting the idea how this uh, rotation is working. So as you can see, damage that we are getting, it's not bad at all. If you consider that uh, we were mainly eating uh, one target with the chain gun, because like I said, you have to stay um, in line with your enemies, and uh, this uh, mm, disposition of the ads it's not ideal for uh, to get uh, the best damage as the chain gun. Okay, guys, so talking about the ranged loadout that we are going to cover on this guide, it's uh, the first one, it's the amplified hit vision. So once again, don't forget that we are not using the Grimorium Verum, so we don't have any path that is going to apply the power interaction. So uh, we are starting with the amplified hit vision, that it's a burst damage and a damage over time on multi-target if you have uh, the solar amplifier at 200 and a, a power interaction applier as well. Then we have the mini nuke. This is uh, probably the most hard hitter skill of munition. This is an AOE damage and um, 
This one it's a really good guys. It's expensive as power cost, but it's totally worth it for the damage that is going to do. Then a chain gun, like we said, the mandatory skill for munition, it's an AoE damage, and you don't forget that you have to keep your position on the most good way guys absolutely so you will be able to eat everyone straight online and then we have the rail guns that it's another aoe damage that it's an uh, that's a decent eater as well and then we have the robot sidekick and then the neo venom boost so for the ranged one guys feel free to give a couple of try on the big gun so don't forget that this one it's a 100% supercharge so that this is absolutely fine if you are playing with a nature healer that is using the eye of gemini that is going to spam your uh, the supercharges over and over and over and over so you can uh, you can um, use this one as well so this one it's uh, an hard eater it's probably the best supercharge uh, into the game as a dps like call of the deep and like oblivion uh, the, fr the first one coming fr uh, for water and the second one from quantum so feel free to use this one if you have a nature healer or anyway an healer using the eye of gemini spamming a supercharge over and over and over otherwise just keep your neo boost Talking about the single target um, loadout, guys, we have uh, always the amplified hit vision because of this one, like we said, it's a power interaction applier, bust damage, damage over time. So this is uh, absolutely mandatory, especially if you are using it, the solar amplifier. Then we have a chain gun, so don't forget that you don't have... Um, think about the skill it's vulnerable to interrupt because it's not anymore since you have the solar amplifier at 200 and then the, mul the multinet launcher this is a combo skill by the way guys so if you are um, so top range it's net uh, uh, retractor and all the range is multi necked retractor so what that means that means if you are doing the top range this skill is eating just one enemy but if you are holding range when you are doing the combo this skill it's eating as aoe damage so don't forget because this is a really important Okay, then we have the small package. This is just uh, um, this is just a finisher, but I found that this one really, really useful, guys. Especially because uh, the tick of damage it's always good, and you are getting a better damage when the target is going to be uh, below the thirty-five percent of HP. So that means the damage is going to be increased when the boss is near to die. So like every other single time, robot sidekick because a pet is always worth and of course the neo venom boost because this is my personal preference guys but you are free uh, to use uh, um, another supercharge so like uh, like for example the big gun i don't, don't want to suggest a big gun on uh, the boss guys so always keep the neo venom boost just to boost all of your damage up
Okay, guys, uh, talking about uh, the precision spec of this uh, power set, um, let's take a look on which kind of uh, stuff we need. Um, the first one, the white mod, it's uh, obviously the uh, blast uh, adapter. Then uh, we are going to use the Neo Venom Boost 3. Previously, people were using the critical weapon buff. Um, doesn't matter which kind of power you're playing, but since we are using the transformation card, we have enough critical uh, hit chance and the critical hit damage, so it doesn't matter. So uh, for the neck, we are going to use the precision, uh, uh, Rantas Precision 5. That means a 4% boost of your precision while above of 9 hit counter on your counter. On the back, uh, accelerated the survival. This is just an additional uh, shield uh, that it's not a huge deal, but it's always something to protect yourself when you are going melee. As a chest, as always, a penetrating strike. Uh, science, the other one, it's uh, uh, bugged. Um, for the legs, uh, it doesn't matter, guys. You can put whatever you want. So I just leave the restorative chain gun because I'm playing main uh, might. And of course, on the ends, max damage, 2% for a short time when using a superpower. So that means every single superpower that you are going to push on your loadout. And then on the feet, as always, a tumbling master, because this one is really useful to get rid of some bad situation. Talking about the, the trinket, guys, of course, uh, the supply drop, this is a must, uh, as a, a second trinket, the dark construct, but for, um, for melee is really good. I also forget previously to, um, to say that with the single target, the best one is the sea horse for a pure, um, clean single target. Um, boss fight especially then the third one it's always the trinket so this is the 263 but you have to aim for the 265 and of course the orbital as uh, affinity bonuses mod guys uh, on playing a precision of course type a and type b uh, precision the other two doesn't matter because the other two are just for a support role. And then if we are going to take a look on the artifact, the best combination actually for precision is just the transformation card, the strategies card, and the Neo Venom uh, with the dispenser. So 99% of the time, this is the best combination that you can get as a precision DPS. It doesn't matter which kind of power set you are playing. But just in case you don't have the Neo Venom with the dispenser running the Grimorium Verum, it's also fine. It's an additional pet that is going to apply the power interaction, but doesn't matter since you are playing a pre uh, precision. And um, this combination is uh, basically the best one that you can get. So, um, as you notice, guys, I have the rank zero Neo Venom Wrist Dispenser and the Grimorium Verum because uh, since recently I have switched from precision to might just to have fun in the game because I was playing precision science a lot of uh, bounds and that's why I have decided to play uh, the might version. Talking about the augments, of course, you have to wear always uh, um, everything that uh, give you precision. So, of course, as uh, um, adaptive augments depend on which kind of content you are going to play, you are going to wear the, the correct one to get a boost of uh, uh, precision while inside the, the content. And this is happening for the origin augments as well, all of them. Also, don't forget to level up uh, um, your origin augments, guys, uh, for the simple reason that since the last update, since the last game update, uh, 103, they rise up uh, the level of uh, the augments. Um, so don't forget to level them up, all of them. Okay, guys, so talking about the uh, precision melee uh, rotation and uh, loadout and the skill point spec, um, of course, um, we are going to choose always the two handed science. The two handed is the best weapon uh, to DPS as melee. We are going to unlock every single skill point um, at the beginning of the tree and also unlock uh, the two handed mastery 
even if you are not playing the masters i have showed a couple of time on the stream that uh, unlocking this one is giving you a huge boost of precision so don't forget to uh, unlock this one as well even if you are not using any ma masters and uh, of course as uh, super speed we are going to unlock the speed force uh, just unlocking a random one the tornado pool it's a kind of skill that we are going to use on the single target ranged one mm, unlock the face dodge this is uh, for mainly for super speed this is a mandatory one guys if you want to clip all your animations and then of course the the two um the two passive the restraint resistant and the knockback resistant those are absolutely passive and allow you to be stronger and more difficult to be crowd controlled Talking about the uh, iconic power, uh, of course, uh, New Venom Boost, it's the best supercharge to boost your damage. As melee, we are going to unlock the Sonic Cry and the Robot Sidekick as usual, because when an additional pet, it's always worth. On stats points, of course, guys, we are going to unlock, uh, uh, always choose the uh, Weapon Expert. It's 10% uh, total we uh, weapon damage, then 20% critical attack chance, 40% crit uh, critical attack damage. Maximize your precision, and if you have enough skill point, you're going to put a couple of skill point on Might and Power to, um, to give you um, better damage on your skills especially as melee you have just one but mainly to increase your power pool so you're getting 10% power pool when you're putting uh, one of the skill point and of course the rest on um, on the HP Talking about the loadout, then guys, of course we are going to uh, choose Sonic Cry um, Killer instant and survival so sonic cry it's a burst damage at 360 burst damage then uh, killer instant of course it's the weapon buff and then survival that it's an additional shield and we are going to clip all of them with the face dodge so the face dodge it's just a kind of skill that you are going to use just to cancel the animation of the previous one then we have the robot sidekick and of course the neo venom boost Okay guys, and talking about the range the spec of the precision, of course nothing is going to change. The only weapon that is going to change compared to the melee version, it's just the dual wield. Every single white mod it's uh, absolutely the same with one uh, with one difference of uh, the trinket. You're going to choose always the Atlantean Sea Horse because this one as a pure single target, it's a really good pet to have. So like previously my uh, the, mm, the supply drop um, the main trinket and the orbital and everything is the same for the affinity bonuses and artifact as well and for augments as well guys so everything is absolutely the same and if we want to take a look on the spec of the skill point on the weapons of course dual wield we have to unlock every single masters of the dual wield and then going back to the bow unlocking every single uh, skill point on uh, on the bow and then just going back on the dual wield and unlock the flurry shot masters that this is the main combo as a single target that we are going to use and then the explosive shot 
master is that it's mainly for an AOE damage. Most most of the time you are going to use this one just for ads. When the tank is going to pull a lot of ads, you are going to use the explosive shot masteries instead of going on single target. Then uh, talking about the super speed, of course, uh, we are going to unlock the speed force, uh, the tornado pool, that it's uh, a really used skill for every power set uh, as a precision. This is, this is an hard eater. Uh, the face dodge to cancel the uh, animation like we have seen and i have unlocked these two just to have the access of the wearing dervish i will show you a variant of uh, um of the break uh, range with uh, using the wearing dervish to cancel the animation and then as iconic power of course we want to always uh, unlock the robot sidekick and the neo venom boost mandatory for Precision builds and as stats um, point, of course, weapon expert um, 20, 40, 265. A couple of skill points on the might and power just to empower damage of your tornado pool and have a better power pool as well. And then, of course, the rest of the skill points on HP. Talking about the loadout, guys, of course, the first one is the tornado pool. This is coming from the super speed. I know, guys, not every one of you, you're using the super speed, but if you want to be a DPS as main DPS in this game, I want to suggest you to find to, um, to, to be a super speeder for the simple reason that you have a lot of skills that you can use on both specs, might and precision. So... I want to suggest you guys, if you are a main DPS, consider the idea to switch as a super speed. So, as a um, first skill, of course, Tornado Pool, then, of course, the Weapon Buff. Um, th this means 16% more precision when you are going to proc the Neo Venom, best, uh, the D Neo Venom with the Dispenser artifacts. An additional shield, that is the Survival everything clipped with the face dodge this is also another skill coming from the super speed the robot sidekick and of course the neo venom boost to boost entire your damage Okay guys, uh, talking about uh, the support spec uh, of uh, munition, starting first with the regular troll, the buff troll. So of course uh, mm, we are going to, ch uh, to choose every single time the Replenisher Adapter 5 on, uh, on the weapon and we are going to choose uh, the End Blaster. On the add the Supercharge Active pro Protection System that is uh, grant you 5% super, uh, Supercharge back when you use the Supercharge. On the neck, of course, uh, uh, um, escalating replenishing prox 5. On the back, accelerated the survival. This is really good. It's a shield that can be really useful to rest uh, someone. On the chest, of course, uh, power efficiency. And uh, on legs, it doesn't matter, guys. Absolutely, it doesn't matter because you don't have nothing useful uh, for the legs. As ants, uh, doesn't matter at all if we are putting max damage or uh, uh, re regenerative shield. Absolutely uh, nothing. 
on feet as well uh, tumbling master and talking about the trinket of course you want to have always your trinket of uh, the vitalization so actually i'm building my um, troller pure troller uh, gear so count this one as a, a controller regular uh, trinket the second one it's really good if you have the summer trinket the the summer event trinket as a um, controller and supply drop and uh, uh, the fourth slot that that will be always the orbital that it's worth to keep on uh, just to, um, to maintain a decent kind of uh, you can uh, um, help your group with the damage sometimes talking uh, about the artifact of course i'm with Rao, uh, parasite power harness so this one is actually at rank 99 but it's enough as rank 160 sorry guys i am missing the catalyzer <laughs> and the third one it's just uh, a jolly guys so you can imagine how many people are keeping asking me which kind of artifact it's worth to build as a um, controller the most common combination it's just the amulet of Rao, uh, the parasite site and the third one it's the scrap of the soul clock if you want to prioritize the supercharge regeneration but as a buff troll you have a couple of variations that you can make you can use as well for example um the cog of demageddon for example so you are giving more um more precision to uh, to your group especially if you have uh, um a lot of uh, precision dps or just uh, just going with the regular setup that it's uh, with the scrap of the soul clock that is going to prioritize the supercharge regeneration as a skill point um, of course we are going to always unlock the solar flame from the end blaster this is totally worth because this one is giving you the, the opportunity to recharge your supercharge faster it's an aoe hit and then uh, going to the super speed i have unlocked the, those guys but if you don't have an alpha skill point so don't mm, don't take a look on this one so i have an alpha uh, skill point i have unlocked those just to get some power back when i am getting stunned um, as iconic power you are not a dps uh, so you don't need nothing and as a stats power of course uh, always go as hybrid uh, for the simple reason that you are getting the five percent dominance of five percent vitalization it's a huge buff and like every other single spec 20 point on the critical power chance um 10 point on uh, criti critical power magnitude i found my um I want to always prioritize the power pool instead of going crazy first on the vitalization. I find that I found that this one 230 skill point on might and power enough power pool uh, to keep up uh, uh, with everything. So putting more skill points, it's totally worst of a skill point. And then of course the rest of the skill point on vitalization to have better power re recharge and a better power over time. The rotation for the regular controller, guys, it's always uh, all the free uh, the buff. The first one, the second one, always clipped with uh, uh, your instant uh, re re recharge. And after you have uh, applied the, all the free the buff, just a free recharge, and let's start over. This is really, really uh, simple, nothing particularly complicated. And of course, use your uh, shield when someone on your group is going to die. That will allow you uh, to rest him in a safer way. This is nothing partic uh, p particularly complicated, guys. This is basically the same rotation for every kind of power set and not only for the mu munition. Okay, guys, uh, talking about the Battle Troll spec, uh, that is the last spec uh, to cover this uh, uh, the entire power set. The Battle Troll, it's a really strong build. Uh, it's uh, possible thanks to uh, the Claw artifact. As Battle Troll, guys, you have to consider yourself a fake troll because everything is built as a DPS. The only 
uh, white mod that, that we are going to change as a battle troll are um, just the uh, white mod on the head that it's the supercharged uh, active protection system and the a the back that it's accelerated the survive survival but every everything it's uh, exactly the same as a prec dps every single aspect of the build so that means uh, as a trinket uh, of course you are going to use the atlantean sea hours because it's a kind of build uh, um around um, around uh, the dual wield flurry shot and explosive shot masteries and uh, um, so basically the the trinkets that you're going to use are always the same the supply drop the uh, the sea horse um, the regular um, trinket um, uh, that you use as dps and uh, as well the orbital everything else it's exactly the same as a prec dps previously during the survival mode um, period that they recently um, released the last uh, restyled version of the, sur the survival mode guys the battle troll made the difference on the su survival mode and previously uh, the spec that they were using was just built with instead of the transformation card um, with the, the neo venom wrist the dispenser the glow that it's the core of the build and always the amulet overall to make your debuff stronger but actually you can use this combination of artifact with the transformation card just in case if you don't have um, the neo venom wrist the dispenser it's perfectly fine in this way and everything else guys is exactly as a precision dps so as you can see you are going to put precision basically everything adaptive augments and uh, um, origin augments as well so don't forget to level up uh, those at 267 since we have the new level and uh, basically it's uh, a kind of spec that it's a full dps uh, but uh, on troll role talking about uh, the um, the skill points uh, like we said it's exactly the same as a precision dps so everything is packed in um, into uh, the dual wield of um, the weapon masteries and of course on bow as well then you are going to unlock the flurry shot masteries the explosive shot masteries and on super speed of course you are going to unlock um, the face dodge so you can clip all the animations if you're playing gadget power set you can use the suppression turret uh, in instead of the face dodge that's perfectly fine as iconic power of course you don't need nothing and as a stats point of course everything like uh, pretty similar to a dps but not at all focus on the weapon expert 20 point on the critical attack chance 20 point on critical power chance 40 point on cr critical attack damage 10 point on critical power money to maximize your precision and then the rest of the skill points on vitalization vitalization on the loadout of course we have just one debuff that it's more than enough that that's uh, mainly a defense debuff it is being uh, really huge thanks uh, to um, thanks uh, to your uh, um, artifact the amulet of Rao. and then of course we have the weapon buff because uh, this is a precision based build the reload that is going to proc of course uh, the claw artifact that that is giving your um, your teammates uh, uh, seven percent um, seven percent of uh, might restoration and dominance and five percent critical chance and magnitude for 12 seconds as well if you have this artifact at rank 200 guys you are getting additional bonuses for yourself that it's uh, the first one it's increase the passive power regeneration from your controller role by 20 percent that it's not bad at all and uh, the last one it's a personal buff and when you cast the group weapon buff you are gain three percent vitalization for every single teammates that you are going to buff and this is really really good absolutely 
So, like we said, um, the defense buff, the weapon buff, uh, the re reload that is not going to provide uh, instant power, but instead is giving a huge buff to your uh, teammates. A face dodge is to clip uh, all the free animation at once. And then, of course, survival, it's uh, always good to have uh, an, a shield so you can rest your teammates in case someone is dying. And, of course, uh, the supercharge it's the active protection system that it's a power over time and a shield as well talking about the stats guys so as you can see actually i'm stuck at 31k of precision but let's pay attention when i use my uh, my my buff on myself so i'm going to use the weapon buff and the group power uh, heal so my precision is going to be bumped at 44k so that means uh, actually i am giving 7% uh, of uh, uh, might restoration and dominance to everyone that is in group with me and this is really 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 strong The rotation of the battle troll it's really easy guys so if you are if you are already prepared and uh, able to do a flurry shot mastery so this one will be really really easy so the first thing that we have to do always it's a clip uh, the first free free power with the face dodge and just starting doing damage so in this time you are going to debuff um, the ads and giving yourself and the group a huge buff like this one And basically that's it, so there's nothing particularly complicated, guys. So, of course, when you are using a battle troll in your group, your group is not expecting a lot of power like a regular spec of a troll. So that's perfectly fine if your group is struggling with the power. This is spec, it's, uh, um, it's mainly to fight uh, uh, ads uh, and on particular kind of boss fight. So don't uh, don't be scared if your group is lacking on power because this is absolutely normal. Your job in this case is to give a huge buff to the entire group and makes the, the buff really, really, really strong. Just in case uh, something is going wrong, you can always switch back to your regular um, troll spec. But it's mainly focused to give power on your group instead of giving a a buff from the glow. Okay, guys, I guess that's it for this long guide. I know I'm getting blamed on the comment section below, but this is uh, absolutely normal if you want to cover every single aspect of a power set. So don't forget, guys, that if you like uh, uh, this guide, um, don't forget to leave uh, a comment and like and eventually subscribe to this channel so i can create more content for you about this universal line also don't forget that i am live on twitch every single day starting from monday to friday starting from 3 p.m central european time once again thank you so much for watching this video guys hope you enjoy and of course we will see in the next one peace out I'm gonna go